Coming up next, it's a flyweight title fight between Sergio Pettis and John Dodson. So here is John Dodson, devastating combination of speed and power and the chin and the heart to go with it. He has never been knocked out, had a lot of success in the flyweight division, eventually though, moved up to 135 pounds where he has really continued to realize success. John Dodson, hands and feet, super explosive, very quick, outstanding footwork and movement. And no surprise that John Dodson finds himself in another title eliminator, Joe, here tonight. John Dodson combines incredible speed, ridiculous knockout power, and fantastic athleticism to make him one of the most exciting fighters in the UFC today. All right, so here he is, the number one flyweight contender making the walk and looking to walk out as the new UFC flyweight champion of the world. In terms of skills, there's no denying he deserves to be there. A lot of people think we could be looking at a new champion here tonight, but now he's got to come forth with the performance and prove without a doubt that he is the man, he deserves the belt. 25 minutes away from becoming the UFC flyweight champion of the world. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is When the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 9 losses. He stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, John the Magician Dotson. And now, you can see the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA, presenting the ring, defending undisputed UFC Highland Champion of the World, Sergio. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go at stake, the UFC Flyweight Championship of the world. Oh, nice punch there by John Dodson. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. Nice kick there by Dodson. Blocks the shot. Tags him with the left. Good kick to the body there by Dodson. Oh, uppercut lands, and he leaned right into that one, Joe. Left the head wide open there for the taking. 
Let's see if now that wakes him up a little bit and he learns to get those hands up. He got tagged there. Dodson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, Ooh, big uppercut show. Body kick, look at that. He is all about that left kick to the body. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Nice punch there by Dodson. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, hit kick blocked though by Pettis. He tagged him with that right hand. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Another huge right. A couple of hammer fists now. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Very nice, gets to half guard. Oh, look at that! Look at that transition! He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Back to full guard, wow. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Switching stances here. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by John Dodson. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. He landed that punch flush. Big overhand right. He's oh! Big shots! Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. Oh! Round two oh, coming up next. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. Here's a devastating kick that does some serious damage. Let's see it one more time. All right, all right, Brittany Palmer all right. with us tonight. You've been hit with bigger shots than that, all right? You're gonna shake this off. Second round underway. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. John Don. He he He's in a lot of trouble. Strikes here, Joe, but just not doing a lot of damage because his cardio at this point has abandoned him a little bit. Big oh. kick to the head. He is stunned. He's got him hurt here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, no. oh! He's clearly in pain. He's trying to hang on there, but he is in big trouble. He's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much oh! He's got to be careful here. He's in trouble. Oh, he's hurt again! Oh, big left hook there. Nice takedown. And he gets reversed. Under 
two minutes to go in round two. He's got his back here. Pettis' facial cut is getting worse now, Joe. Man, is that thing flossing in blood. Elbow to the head there by Dodson. In half guard. Full guard here. Now under a minute to go in the second round. He's posturing up here. Oh, elbow to the head. Pettis gets caught by the elbow there. 30 seconds to go in round two. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Pettis. He postures into place. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Pettis. And that's the end of round number two. All right, that horn brings us to the end of the round. And now we will see what they can do in the corner, Joe, because the swelling on that fighter's eye is nothing if not significant. They'll get the end swell. There you go. They got it on there quickly. But I'm not sure he's going to be able to answer the bell here for this next round. Let's see. And here's another head kick. And here's one more perfectly placed head kick. You can really see how awesome that round was by these highlights. Thank you very much, Ariane Celeste. Are you ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Whoa! He's in trouble, he's in trouble. Oh, he might be out. Big left hand. And here's the end of the fight. And here we see it from a different angle. Look at the power in that kick. And as soon as it lands, that is the end. Let's see that again. Crank right on the jaw. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at 55 seconds of the third round. To play the winner by knockout and So some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they going to enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming in here tonight. And this is a moment that at times people just thought we wouldn't see. New champion here tonight. The longtime incumbent is out. There is a new sheriff in town in this division, and it is going to take a big performance to dethrone the new champion of this weight class.